Good afternoon. I hope you're having a great day. I wanted to check in and talk about Joe Biden and his pick for vice president. Now, it's no surprise that his shortlist contains a majority of women, if not all of them, and he'll be announcing soon. He's actually said that he'll be announcing his vice president by July. So what should he be looking for? I think there are three things that Joe Biden should consider when thinking about his vice president. The first is minimize risk. When we think about campaigns, we know that campaigns are literally a live fire exercise of people trying to get elected to office. Joe Biden can look like a fool and have gaps on his own and doesn't need any assistance. So he's got to pick a vice president that can ensure that everything is smooth sailing, which means Governor Whitmer from Michigan, I'm looking at you, you're probably not the greatest pick. The reality is, is her popularity is soaring right now, but nobody knows how it's going to shake out after COVID is over or if it ever ends really. Also, we think about other candidates. We look at Elizabeth Warren. She's fantastic on the stump. We know where she stands. We know her policy and her passion. She spent a portion of 2019 and 2020 stumping on it and telling us how she was going to change the world. We don't disagree, but the reality is, is if she joins the ticket, Joe Biden's going to have to play offense as Trump continues to drum home. He's nothing but a socialist. And if you don't believe him, just look at his vice presidential candidate. Also, when we think about Elizabeth Warren, we know that Joe Biden will have to answer a lot of questions, specifically why there's such a policy disparity on where him and his vice president stand. They literally are on opposite ends of the ideological spectrum. How can you have that as a vice president? He'll have to answer those questions. The second thing is, is do no harm. Look, vice presidential candidates are supposed to come in and be an addition to the ticket. They are not supposed to come in and create their own news. They're just literally supposed to be there stumping and make the presidential candidate look fantastic and win in November. They're basically like a fantastic accessory that can eventually one day lead this nation. And the reality is, is that Biden is looking for a vice president who can take over after his four years are done. He's 77 years old and if elected, he will be the oldest person to ever win the presidency. And that means that his vice president has to be prepared in the unlikely event that he cannot actually be the president while he's serving four years and after to step up. Now that means, if we're talking in those terms, that means Kamala Harris has a fantastic shot. She's 22 years younger than Joe Biden and she has had no problems being a total firebrand. However, does she do no harm to his campaign? Mm, well, during the debates, remember, she had no issue going directly after Joe Biden. And that means that if she joins the ticket, she's going to have to answer a lot of questions on why she's going to work with someone she called out consistently during the debates. The last thing that Joe Biden should consider when thinking about who should be his vice presidential candidate is does this person create less reasons to vote against Joe Biden? The reality is, is there's plenty of reasons to vote for him. First and foremost, he's not Donald Trump. But this vice presidential candidate should actually continue to drum home the reason that there's not a lot of reasons to vote against Joe Biden. When we think about an overall strategy and we look at the current polling of Joe Biden, we know that he is leading plus six across the nation. In key swing states such as Michigan, Arizona, Florida, as well as Wisconsin and Pennsylvania, Joe Biden is leading. His campaign strategy to the White House needs to be literally maintain a lead, don't make a lot of noise, and run the clock out. And that is how he wins in November. I'm curious, who do you think Joe Biden should choose as vice president? We have no doubt there's plenty of qualified women to choose for. Who do you think he's going to pick? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you have a fantastic night and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!